For the upcoming ICSC Computer Application Examination, there are a few questions for Section A. That is for the MCQ part. So my belief it will be better if you find the output by your own and then match with the correct answer given. So let us have few one-liners, few very small programs. This is the valid syntax, and you can have a subscript operator before the name of a variable. This is adding. All the elements of the array, and over here it is printing the sum of one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine as a single answer. This was the first one. Let us see the next one. We have two integer arrays named x and y, creating another array named as z of the length x. Right now, this loop. Loop of i is storing the value of one into one, likewise two into two, likewise three into three, in an array called as z. So this should give me something like one into one is equal to one, and likewise five. Into five is equal to twenty-five. You all can keep on giving the answers in the chat box and can match your score later on with the answers provided in the video. Now this is a character array. This is the only as data type. If an array is created, we can print it directly without any loop. So now. string named vowel will also going to have a e i o u the characters assigned here the length is 5 so the last character the last character will be this character that is a character called as u as initialized let us see the next question there is a character array a e i o u using loop storing it in string and this is what converting it into upper case so all the a e i o u instead of being in small will going to be in upper case letter we might not have a direct question like find errors but find the statement where we might have an error given in the question so let us see this an array is created but we should have something like this square bracket Zero is okay, but how come equal to five? We have to avoid equal to sign because if elements are five, it means index will go from zero to four. Let's see next question, which is the ninth element of the array. Let us see it like this: If array consists of ten, consists of fifteen, consists of anything like eighteen. so whatever amount of elements we have the roll numbers that is the index number in array starts from 0 so array of 0 is the first element so means array of 9 is the yes correct if you guessed it 10th element then it is correct let us see next one this is an array and we are trying to print the value of the array so you have to find the error in case if there is any so the error you can note i suppose that we should have curly bracket instead of having square bracket and the next one a very popular error that equal to sign is to be ignored in this case let us see the next one there is an error given if i do it like array is 1 that is x of 1 so this is the index number 1 and index number 2 3 4 and this goes index number 5 so index number 1 it is 4 plus 5 that is 4 plus 7 next name the keyword used to allocate memory if you remember the syntax of an array then we write int arr let me show you this int arr 
is equal to new in. So new keyword help us to allocate memory at runtime. So this is what to allocate memory of the array that is new keyword. So let us see the next one now. State the total size of the array. One char take two bytes, and if there are four, means two into four. Similarly, one float takes four bytes. So four into four. You need to find out the option where the answer given as four into four. That is sixteen. Now we have an array named as n with some values. Do some calculation such that if I am supposed to find Something like n is four, which is zero, one, two, three, four. This is four, means seven, and two is three. Two is three, so the answer should be seven to the power three. And this is matter of SQRT. N is five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five is nine, and seven is sixteen. Five is nine, and seven is sixteen. So if it is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25. So very logical output will come in these kind of cases. Remember, you need to put zero just because of the matter of SQRT. This is an array. If I am going to print an array directly, there are no values. It means this will be the garbage value. If we have an array, an array where the name is Zero. So if zero is placed at twenty five hundred, if zero is placed at two five zero zero, means one will be placed at two five zero four, two five zero eight, and two five one two will be the value of the third index. That is this index. Keeping in mind that the Size data type of the array x is integer. Let us see the next one. This is hello and this is world. This will going to print hello world with no gap in between o and w. O and w will come all together. Let's see this one. The length of x index starts from zero, but length starts from one. So the answer will be five. Let us see the next one. This is my string. Another way to initialize string. Allocating memory at runtime. When I'll convert into upper case, then this A B C will be in upper case letters. That is capital A, capital B, capital C. Let us see the next one. So you have to store a number as a string. Means string n is equal to. Please don't write 275. You all are supposed to put this in double inverted commas. Just because it is a string. Correct. Now the second one, convert the string given into the numeric value. Convert the string given into the numeric value. It means that if n I am going to use again, then int value is equal to integer dot. This will be parse. P a r s e i n t. If I am using the consecutive statement, it means n. So n is what? The value of a string given above. Add this place. So this code required two lines to be used. So you have to be very particular and smart at the time of selecting the best appropriate MCQ. Few more are left. String x computer y is application. What is the return type? This is string. And if I say x, I need And I need one comma five means one two three four. So at one I have O O M P U O M P U. If you remember five is not involved. So one two three four index. Let us see what do we have at caret four zero one two three four. So we have U at caret four. So what is the index of U in X only? It might be Y. We might have a case like banana, like the characters are getting repeated. We might have a case like pineapple. In my previous videos, you must have noted this. So right now, the index of P will be four. So not a very tricky one. Purpose and return type. Purpose will be the definition, and return type it returns the 
इंडेक्स ऑफ द कैरेक्टर पास एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो इफ आई राइट ए बी ए डॉट इंडेक्स ऑफ द कैरेक्टर पास एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो दिस विल बी समथिंग लाइक जीरो देर आर टू इट विल बी जीरो इफ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट लास्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ इन इन दिस केस द आंसर विल बी टू Let us see. Compare to, compare to, compares the words in dictionary order and returns answer in the form of the, in the form of the string, right? So let us have a next question now. This is a character upper class. Is R a capital letter? Yes, it is a capital letter. You have to convert the character given in capital case. So J will be like this. Majorly, you will be having the character of a type. What is easily being distinguishable, distinguishable at the time when it is being written in capital case and in the small case means there should be no confusion. Like the character called as A, the character like J. Let us see the next one. We have something like S one as computer, S two as application. If I'm going to compare, then first mismatch of S guy that is C minus A, that is 67 minus 65. The data type of B will be boolean. Boolean because equals returns in the form of boolean. Let us see the next one. We have good and we have word matters. <clears throat> If I talk about S two dot substring five five on words, let us count zero one two three four. So five on words we have space. So space matters. In space matters, what I am going supposed to do is replace T with N. So matter will become manners. So this will be manners. So if I am going to concatenate with good, so we are going to have something like good with a space in between M A N N E R S. I C S Cs are very smart. Whenever they are going to have something like this, it will be. It should be a meaningful word. framed after using this substring and replace category of a thing just remember one thing that we have a space gap in between let us see few more we have to find the index of full stop dot that is one now if i'll find substring 0 comma 1 means only zeroth character means the answer in this case will be zero and that to being converted into integer Let's talk about Mendesa. Full stop is at number one, so three, seven, five, six. So actually, the program code is of a type which is dividing the numbers in between two parts. That is a number before the full stop decimal and a number after the decimal. Let us see one more using library method. Which library we should use to print? the first word from a sentence so if i'm going to write like for tech computer and let me initialize it with something called as s let me have edu also so this is for tech computer edu so let us have if i'm going to write s dot index of space and what if i write s dot last index of space so these two are somewhat looks like somewhat similar although they are not if i talk if i say This index, so this will going to find the position of this one. This will going to find the position of this one. So I can always run a loop by storing the values. Like I might store it in a variable called as a, which is an integer. I might store it in a variable called as b once again, which is an integer, and can either run a loop or can make use of substring to find the first word or the last word from the string initialized. Hope everything is clear. So all the best for the upcoming examination. keep on subscribing the channel like the video and share with your friends thank you all the best for the exam